HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the brand new turf fields for Hopkinton Hillers softball. It is their second game of the 2019 regular season. The Hillers did indeed play yesterday, and they took down Holliston by way of the mercy in five innings, a 25-5 victory over the Holliston Panthers, some impressive offense by the Hopkinton Hillers in their first game of the season. And they are certainly excited to get out there today and take on Dover Sherborne. Let's take a look at the Dover Sherborne lineup. Leading things off is number five, the shortstop, Grace Rorca. Batting second, number three, the pitcher, Raya Bahadur. Batting third, number seven, the third baseman, Sierra Crowley. Batting cleanup, number 10, the catcher, Emma Stiller. Batting fifth, the left fielder, number 14, Meg Hanlon. Batting sixth, the second baseman, number 12, Roro Murray. Batting seventh, the first baseman, Maria Serafian. Batting eighth, the center fielder, Ashley Versaw. And hitting ninth, the right fielder, Emma Goodness. And for the Hopkinton Hillers defense, I sent it to my broadcast partner, Larry Sacklot. When I'm ready. Only when I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime today, Larry. Yes, yes. I know it's I know it's live. <laughs> there we go. Here oh. we go. All right. At so third base, that Hiller's defense. Kristen McCluskey, shortstop, Alyssa McIntyre, the senior captain, Emily Whalen at second base. Number 15, Bella Onzi at first. Left to right today, we have Megan Sullivan. Captain Katie Hawley in the right field, Sienna Harrigan. And our flex player today is Jordan Chavary. And there you have it, the Hillers defense. The pitcher today, Charlotte Can, a freshman, getting the nod for the Hillers. And big things are expected out of Charlotte during her Hillers softball career. So we certainly look forward to seeing her pitch throughout this season as Dover Sherborne is just about set to step in. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call. John Ritz is on camera. And it's a pretty nice afternoon here. Some clouds in the sky, but great weather for some Hillers softball. The temperature reading at 50 degrees, partly cloudy. So it should be a good afternoon here at Hopkinton High School as we are set for game number two of this 2019 Hillers softball season. And set to step in is the shortstop, Grace Rorca. I should have mentioned it's Jillian Cedia behind the plate. I apologize, Jillian. And Charlotte can set to deliver the first pitch. And it is low for ball one, one and oh is the count. We are underway. Line up and the pitch. In there for a strike, one and one. Charlotte looked impressive against the Westboro team in a scrimmage earlier this year. Line up and the pitch. Followed into the backstop, one and two. Charlotte can working with a good pace to start things off here. That one is low, two and two. Dover Sherborne is 0 and two on the season as they look to get their first win here today. Line up and the pitch, up high, full count. Can is set to deliver. And this is on the ground, up the middle, gloved by Whalen, throw to first, not in time. 
So Grace Rorca reaches safely to start things off for Dover Sherborne, an infield single. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Raya Bahadur. Nice play by Emily Whalen to get to that ball. And there's a bunt foul. Oh, and one. With the Hillers offense playing base to base here, it might be a long afternoon for the Raiders. Over Sherborne so far this season, they lost to Medfield 6-2 as there's a swinging strike. And they lost to Bellingham 17-1. Hillers only game, they, a defeat over Holliston in five innings, 25-5, as this is up the left side foul. When I spoke to Charlotte earlier in the year, she says that she's got a rise ball, a drop, and of course her fastball. So she's got a, a nice repertoire of pitches. See if she has a change up in today. The 0-2. And this is hit in the air right to the shortstop. One away to throw to first, and they double him up. A 6-3 double play. Two away, and that'll bring up Sierra Crowley, the third baseman. So a fly out by Bahadur, and then they double him up, getting Rorca caught off the first base bag. And this is hit into center field, and that'll get by everybody. So that is going to be a base hit for Crowley as she rounds first, heading to second, and she's aboard with a stand-up double. Now the cleanup hitter, the catcher, Emma Stiller, will step in. Looked like Sienna was playing just a tad shallow. So that ball got to the fence in a hurry with this turf. Charlotte delivers, and that is fouled away out of play. Oh, and one, as that goes over to the stands behind the backstop. Hope it didn't hurt anybody. The 0-1 pitch, down low, one and one. Sierra Crowley over at second base after hitting a double, two outs for Dover Sherborne. Scoreless game so far here in the top of the first. Swing and a miss, one and two. That looked a little off speed to me. I don't think the uh, Dover Sherborne Raiders will take a chance of running on Jill Cedia. She's got a cannon. And deals, swing and a miss for strike three, and that'll wrap up the top half of the first. The Hopkinton Hillers coming up next on HCAM. Welcome back to Hopkinton High School. We are set for the bottom of the first. And for the first time, we are trying the YouTube stream here from the softball fields. And I gotta turn over all my money to you now. <laughs> the Hopkinton Hillers coming up to the plate. Let's take a look at the batting order. Leading things off, number two, the second baseman, Emily Whalen. Hitting second, the right fielder, number six, Sarah Harrigan. Hitting third, the center fielder, number five, Katie Hawley. Batting cleanup, the catcher, number 21, Jillian Cedia. Hitting sixth, the first baseman, Bella Ansi. She wears number 15. Hitting seventh is the shortstop, Alyssa McIntyre. Hitting eighth is Jordan Chevery, the designated player, and hitting ninth is Kristen McCluskey for the Hopkinton Hillers. And excuse me, it's actually McCluskey hitting eighth and Megan Sullivan hitting ninth, the left fielder. So we are set for the Hillers to come up to the plate. Let's take a look at the Dover Sherborne defense. Larry, take it away. Sierra Crowley at third, Grace Rocca at shortstop. Ro-Ro Murray is playing second base. MB Whalen runs up to bunt. Marie Sarahan at first, left to right, Megan Hanlon, Ashley Vershaw, and Emma Goodness pitching. Rhea Bahada in behind the plate, Emma Stiller. 2 and oh count on Emily Whalen, the second baseman for the Hillers. Did a whole lot of pitching last season, but is looking forward to doing some infield this season. Emily's going to UMass Amherst to play some softball. Terrific ball player. Always a threat to bunt. Has excellent speed. 
And she gets a piece of this one up the left side, and it's handled by the shortstop, one away. She's not happy with herself. That'll bring up Sienna Harrigan, the right fielder. Emily Whalen with some words of encouragement for Sienna. And she'll get a piece of this one over to center field. That'll get down for a base hit. Sienna around first, heading over to second, and she'll slide in safely. A double for the right fielder. And that'll bring up Katie Holly, the center fielder. She's been fun to watch these last three years. She certainly has. And hoping to be a big contributor to this Hillers offense once again this season. That pitch is in there for a strike, 0 and 1. The Hatter delivers, and that's fouled away up the left side, 0 and 2. Katie Hawley went 4 for 5 against Holliston yesterday, drove in 7 runs, and scored 4. That was a cruelty win, might I say. And there's strike three, got her looking. 25 to five, that's cruel. Certainly is, 12 runs in the first inning for the Hillers. And yesterday's victory over Holliston as Jillian Cedia steps in. And that's down low, gets by the catcher, and now Sienna Harrigan going to advance to the third. A wild pitch there to allow Harrigan to advance. I'll make my prediction with uh, Jillian C.D. this year. She'll hit five bombs. And that pitch up high from Bahadur. Two she, and oh. She played club ball with Concord, I understand, this past summer, along with Charlotte Can. Gets a good piece of this one. That'll drop into right field. A Hiller's run is in, and it's an RBI single for Jillian C.D. They may pinch run for her. One to nothing, Hopkinton, and Bella Ansi will step in. Bella Ansi, the first baseman. To be Heather Sivo, perhaps. And this is going to be, I believe, Heather Sivo. I believe you are correct. She did a lot of running last year. Line up and the pitch, down low, and Sivo's taking off. There she goes, over to second. In softball, you have to wait till the ball leaves the hand. That pitch down low, two and oh on Otzi. She had a nice year last year. And another pitch down low, three and oh. Ronsi yesterday went three for four against Halston, scored two runs and drove in seven. The senior awaits the pitch and she'll hit this one in the air up the left side out of play. Three and one. Another souvenir for the huge throng of fans over there on the left field line. That pitch way up high, and Sivo will advance to third on the wild pitch, and that's also a walk for Ansi. So two aboard for the Hillers with two outs. Runners on the corners for the shortstop, Alyssa McIntyre. She had a good day yesterday as well. That pitch inside. Alyssa McIntyre in her junior season. Gets a piece of this one, and it's a little bloop right to the pitcher, and that'll wrap up the first inning, but not before the Hillers play to run. It's one to nothing, Hopkinton, as we head to the top of the second on H cam. Top half of the second, Dover Sherborne coming back up to the plate. Two up is five, six, and seven. Meg Hanlon, the left fielder, Roro Murray, the second baseman, and Maria Serafi in the first baseman. And Charlotte Can delivers down low, one and oh. A one to nothing lead for Hopkinton. 
Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad, happy to be with you for another season of Hillers baseball and softball as that one's filed away. One and one. That's fouled off of Cedia, one and two. For those of you who are new to the game of softball over at first base, you'll see an orange base and a white base. The white base is for the fielder. And the orange base is for the runner. Pop up to Emily Whalen, squeezes it, one down. We'll bring up Roro Murray, the second baseman. That's a great softball name, Roro Murray. There's a strike. <clears throat> Can delivers, that's fouled away. Oh and two. Nice job by the Dover Sherborne coach there. Stopping the foul ball from taking Coming a near you. <laughs> You're the one that's afraid of the it. softball. I'm more worried about the equipment. <laughs> Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Out number two. That'll bring up Maria Serafini in the first baseman. Can delivers. Swing and a miss. Nice breaking pitch there from Charlotte Can. That was close to our letters. Had no chance of getting that pitch. Just outside, one and one. Hopkinton Hillers led by first season head coach Shannon Alberry. That one's fouled away, one and two. Shannon was Longtime coach in the Hiller softball system. Coached the JV team last season. She's also coached the Special Olympics team as well as this is driven in the left center. That'll get down for a base hit. Past the reach of Katie Hawley. And Maria Serafian is aboard at first base. Two outs for Dover Sherborne. Runner on, Ashley Versaw. The center fielder will step into the batter's box. Serafian should have had two bases on that, but she stopped at first for some unknown reason. Charlotte Can delivers. Swing and a miss. Very late swing. Very, very late. Can deals down low, one and one. Jillian Seedy is an excellent defensive catcher and she can throw runners out from her knees and that pitch down low Serafian thought about going but went back to first she's got a little slogan on her back Cedia thou shall not steal the 2-1 up the middle and Whalen gonna flip it over to second and she gets the uh, what a defensive play by Emily Whalen and that'll wrap up the top half of the second inning. To the bottom of the inning we go. The Hillers leading Dover Sherborne one to nothing on H cam. Bottom of the second inning due up for the Hillers seven, eight, and nine. Jordan Chevery, Kristen McCluskey, and Megan Sullivan. A one to nothing lead for the Hillers. As Chevery swings at that one and fouls it off, zero oh and one. Jordan Chevery, the designated player today. Similar to what a DH is in baseball, as that pitches up high in a junior season. Let's just hope the Hillers didn't use up all their hits for the year yesterday. No, this. That's, that's caught in right field by Emma Goodness, one away. Perfectly positioned out there. My goodness. I'll bring up Kristen McCluskey, the third baseman. Fouled away, 0 oh and 1. Wow. 
Line up and the pitch. Upstairs from Bahadur. One and one. Kristen McCluskey in her sophomore year. Gets a piece of this one, rips it into center field. That'll get down for a base hit. And it's a one out single for McCluskey. We've got a few of the Dover Sherpin players wearing masks besides the pitcher. The center field is wearing a mask for some reason. Not quite sure. And this is a bunt up the middle, and it's picked up, throw to first. Everybody's safe. That's a beauty. So McCluskey reaches, and I apologize. That was Chevery, the hitter before. A little mishap in my lineup. As Megan Sullivan is not in the batting order today. Here's the future minute woman. They'll be playing tonight at the Frozen Four against the University of Denver, UMass Amherst. Pitches in there for strike one, one and one on Emily Whalen. Gets a piece of that one, fouled away. Oh no, it's caught right near the fence. Nice catch by the third baseman for the out. That's a rarity. You rarely see Emily Whalen make two outs and two consecutive at bats. It's two on now with two outs for the Hillers. A pitch down low to Harrigan. This is up the middle, off the pitcher, and everybody's going to be safe. Bases loaded. Here's trouble. Katie Hawley. Pitcher trying to walk it off. She got hit in the shin. Hopefully she's okay. Hopefully so. The athletic trainer is around here somewhere. Maybe the umpire will give us some courtesy pitches. So just to recap the inning so far, Charlotte can the pitcher started off with a fly out to right field. Chevery and McCluskey both singled, and then Emily Whalen flew out to the third baseman, and Sienna Harrigan reached on a single to load up the bases with two outs. Bahada says she's good, so she'll face Katie Hawley with the bases juiced. Katie Hawley with a big opportunity here to add on to this Hiller's 1-0 lead. That's down low. It's going to get by the catcher, and a run's going to come around to score for the Hillers. It's 2 to nothing as Jordan Chevery will come around to score. Advancing to third is McCluskey, and up to second is Harrigan. The turf is a little forgiving when you go in for a slide, unlike the dirt. Down low. Two Stillers had to work hard today. I didn't mean to step on you. Stillers had to work hard today with Bahada on the mound. Line up in the pitch, and this is driven into left field, and it is foul. So Kristen McCluskey will return to third base. Sienna Harrigan back to second. I may be wrong, but I think Katie, Katie Hawley's going to play some college ball. She certainly has the skill set for it. That pitch upstairs, three and one. First base is open. That pitch is down, or actually it looks like she was asking for a new ball. Time was called. Count remains three and one. Did Katie Hawley call time at the plate? We're blocked out. Yeah, it 
looks like it might be uh, umpire discussion here. Did they lose track of the count? I, th I thought that was a... I wasn't sure if that was a pitcher or the pitcher was asking for a new ball. They did lose track of the count of the home plate umpire. Yeah. Usually they just make a motion with their chest, finger to the chest to get a uh, count, but here comes Jillian Cedia with the bases loaded. So Katie Holly is aboard at first base. Bases juiced for the Hillers with two outs. Jillian Cedia with an opportunity here. That gets by the catcher, but everyone will stay put as Emma Stiller quick to her feet. No sense taking a chance with Cedia at the plate running into the last out of the inning. And this is ripped up the middle, past the reach of the shortstop. One run is in it to score, a second run being waved around. And she will score easily, McCluskey and Sienna Harrigan both score. A two RBI single for Jillian Cedia. It's four to nothing, Hillers. Up to second is Katie Holly. We'll have a pinch runner for Cedia, perhaps Heather Sevo. And we will indeed. Bella. Different rules in baseball. Bella Ansi steps in. She walked her last time up. Gets a piece of this one up the middle. Glove by the shortstop. Throw to first. Got her. A 6-3 to three out to wrap up the inning. But the Hillers plate three more runs, and they lead it 4 to nothing as we head to the top of the third on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by... Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Dover Sherborne stepping back up to the plate as Emma Goodness, the right fielder, steps in. Charlotte can set to deliver. Down low, one and oh. Four to nothing lead for the Hillers. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call. John Ritz on camera. That's fouled away, one and one. Kind of a tentative, tentative swing by the Dover player. Might be slightly overmatched with Charlotte Can on the mound. Can deals, fouled away. One and two. Harrigan playing very, very shallow in right field. They're shallow all the way around. The one, two. In there for strike three. Got her looking. Sit down, young lady. That'll bring up Grace Rorca, the shortstop. She singled to start off this game. And she takes a strike there, 0 oh and 1. There's strike two. Charlotte Can seems to be getting more uh, comfortable out there in the pitcher's circle as this game goes on. That's strike three, isn't it? Nope. Pretty close. 1 and 2. Almost too close to take. Just low, two and two. Just a little bit low. Swing and a miss, strike three, second straight strikeout for Charlotte Can. That'll bring up Raya Bahadur, the Dover Sherborne pitcher. She's gonna need to have to help herself here with two outs. Pitch just a little high, one and oh. Fouled away, one and one. Tiger Woods is one off the lead at the Masters. 
This is hit high in the air. Whalen ranging to her right, but calling her off and making the catch is Alyssa McIntyre. A one, two, three, top half of the third to the bottom of the inning we go. Hillers leading four to nothing on HCAM. Bottom of the third inning, due up for the Hillers is the shortstop, Alyssa McIntyre, followed by the pitcher, Charlotte Can, and the third baseman, Jordan Chevery. Four to nothing lead for the Hillers. Nice for Alyssa's dad to come down to film her daughter at the plate. Gets a piece of this one up the left side. Throw to first in time. One away. Just got the speedy McIntyre. I'll bring up Charlotte Can. Chevery actually the designated player who's due up next. And this is lifted over to second base, throw to first, no problem, two away. I'll bring up Jordan Chevery, the designated player. Kind of a sparse crowd today, Tom. Well, they're all watching it on H camp. Uh, that's true. Wind up and a pitch down low. One and oh. Jordan Chevery singled and scored a run last inning. That pitch up high. Two and oh. Short on Chevery is on deck. Rips this one up left field, but it's foul. Just missed the two-bagger or more. Not sure what the ground rules are here. Whether that's an invisible fence if the ball gets hit down the line. Might have to check that out, Tom, if we're going to be broadcasting down here all spring. Line up and the pitch to Chevery, and it's up the left side. Glove by the third baseman. Throw to first, and she's safe. The first baseman came off the bag. Not even close there. there. Ball was in time. What are you scoring that one, Larry? Uh, E3. Ball was there to mistake on the first baseman. I'll the first up, base woman. I'll bring up Kristen McCluskey, the third baseman. And she'll take one inside. Uh, that was in there for a strike. 0 oh and 1. There's a strike, and taking off is Chevery, and she is safe at second. I mixed my players up. Sorry to step on you there, Tom. Stolen base for Chevery. It's all right. We both had a mishap this game. All right. <laughs> That pitch down low, one and two. First softball game of the season. Like yeah, we're, we're breaking in. You can see the difference in the arm strength between Cedia and Stiller. Two and two to McCluskey. I'm sure the Hopkins head coach has taken notice of that. McCluskey singled and scored a run last inning as well. Pitch up high. Full count now. Runner on second, two outs. That one's up high. McCluskey draws the walk. Emily Whalen will step in. She's 0 for 2 so far today. I'll give you every dollar I have. She gets a base hit. Deal. Down low. Actually, no deal. Okay. <laughs> I think it'll be a walk. No. Line up and the pitch. Down low, two and oh. She's swinging. Bahadur trying to work through a bit of a jam for Dover Sherborne. 
And this is ripped up the middle. That'll get through. Lead runner being waved around. And Chevery will score easily. Fork and it's it over. an RBI single for give Emily Whalen. Give me the money. Give me the money. Atta girl. Kluski advances to second. 5 nothing Hillers. That'll bring up Sienna Harrigan. And this is up the middle and dropped by the shortstop and she'll have no play. Everybody's safe. Up to third is McCluskey. Whalen up to second and Harrigan aboard on the error. That'll bring up Katie Holly with the bases loaded and two outs. Chance to break this game wide open. And the right fielder is playing extremely, extremely shallow for Katie Hawley. Um, should I warn her? Wind up and the pitch down low. The hotter deals. And this is up the middle, past the reach of everybody. One run is around. Here comes Whalen, and she will score easily. It's seven nothing Hillers. A two RBI single for Katie Holly. For the fans at home, what is the mercy rule? I believe it is uh, 12. 12 runs after five innings. And I'll bring up Jillian Cedia, the catcher. Cena Harrigan advances to second. Katie Holly board on first as this is fouled up the left side. Oh, and one. Jillian Cedia having a great day at the plate. She's two for two with three RBIs. Cedia adjusting home plate there. It's not affixed to the turf like the rubber. And that's fought off foul. Oh, and two. That ball looked like a watermelon to Cedia. She was ready to crush it. Hotter deals. Down low. One and two. A seven nothing lead for the Hillers. Three more runs have come around so far this inning as this is driven over to left field to the wall, see you later! Home run, Jillian Cedia, a three run blast and it's 10 nothing Hillers. She doesn't need a pinch runner for this. That's her first of five, I said this year. A moonshot by Jillian Cedia and the Hillers have broken this game wide open. 10 nothing. That will bring up Bella Ansi, the first baseman. That was that ball was absolutely crushed by Cedia. Right over the left field fence. I would have given her the free pass. She's a professional hitter. The hotter deals down low. The Hillers pouring it on have added six more runs this inning and lead 10 to nothing. This is ripped up the middle past the reach of the shortstop. Ansi will round first but stay put. And the Hillers have batted around. Well, it was back to back outs to start off the inning, yeah. but the Hillers have. Found some momentum. Is the turf a little spongy today, or is it uh, playing fast? Alyssa McIntyre steps in. And this is hit in the air and caught by the shortstop. And that will wrap up the bottom of the third, but not before the Hillers plate six more runs. And they lead it 10 to nothing as we head to the top of the fourth on each cam. Top half of the fourth inning, the Hillers with a big 10 nothing lead. On Dover Sherborne, due up for the Blue Raiders, 3-4 and 5. Sierra Crowley, the third baseman, set to step in. Followed by Emma Stiller, the catcher, and Meg Hanlon, the left fielder. Charlotte Can set to deal. Pitch just outside, 1 and 0. Oh. Julian Cedia hitting a three-run homer in the bottom of the third to cap off a six-run inning. 
for the Hillers. That one outside, two and oh. Just outside. Three and oh count. And this is up the middle, dropped by Whalen. Picks it up, throw to first, not in time. That was a tough ball to play. But Whalen did a nice job knocking it down, and that'll bring up Emma Stiller, the catcher. Usually, Emily Whalen will get to absolutely everything. That's a base hit. Yeah, that's what I scored it. Can deals, swing and a miss. The 0 1. Hit in the air up the left side and caught by McCluskey for the out. That'll bring up Meg Hanlon, the left fielder. One on, one out for Dover Sherborne. Fouled away. Very late swing. Down low, one and one. Nice block by Cedia. Tried to frame that pitch behind the plate. She'll get down and block a ball when she doesn't even have to with nobody on. That's what makes a good defensive catcher. The 2-1, just a little high there. Can deals in there for a strike to fill up the count. The decisive pitch. And a slow roller up the middle, and the base runner ran into Whalen. Obstruction. Runner's interference. Yep. She's out. So you could uh, score that essentially a force out, two away. Meg Hanlon over at first, two outs. Roro Murray, the second baseman, steps into the batter's box. The umpire called that right away. The fielder has the right to the ball, the runner has to get out of the way. And this is fouled away towards us. And it's 0 and 1. Nearly caught by a Dover Sherborne player. She oh. muffed it though. Can deals. Up the middle, gloved by the third baseman, throw to first, not a problem. Five to three, four out number three. To the bottom of the fourth we go. The Hillers leading Dover Sherborne 10 to nothing on each cam. Bottom of the fourth inning, the Hillers stepping in. Charlotte Can, the pitcher, will start things off. She's had a nice day in the pitcher's circle today. And she's given up no runs and only two hits. Pitch down low. One and oh. What do we have here? We've got 35 runs. The Hillers have scored in two games and given up five. And this is a slow roller up the left side. Throw to first, and that's going to get by the first baseman. And that is still in play. Can going to head over to second on the errant throw. I think if they appeal, I think she missed first base, but they may not appeal. And Jordan Chevery will step in. We'll keep that between us. Yeah, that's why <laughs> I hit my voice low. Bahadur deals, and this is hit up in the air right above Bahadur, and she'll come down with it for out number one. That'll bring up Kristen McCluskey, the third baseman. Runner on second, one out for the Hillers. That looks like we have a uh, pinch hitter in there. That's a smart move. It's Tara Kester at the plate. 
Our brother Ryan was patrolling third base yesterday for the boys' varsity game. Fouled away. 0 oh and 2. Let's see how Tara does with a runner in scoring position. That is fouled away. Cow remains 0 and 2. It's not too bad when you're down 10 runs and it's 80 degrees or 75 degrees out, but it's a little chilly on a day like today. Might want to start the bus up. Swing and a miss. Ball got by the catcher. She's going to try for first, and everybody's going to be safe. Scored out a strikeout. Well, the catcher uh, wanted to hang on to the ball because she was afraid that Charlotte Can was going to try to come around and score. But Kristen McCluskey reaches on the strikeout and the pass ball. And Emily Whalen pulls back her bunt here. And a stolen base. And now stealing from third is going to be Charlotte Can. And another run is in for the Hillers. This group must be a very young group because that was a, a design play. She showed bunt. Runner from first, Tara, went to second. As soon as the ball left the catcher, Charlotte Cann ran home. Double steal was on there. One and one on Emily Whalen. One out in the inning. Runner on second. Tara Kester over at second. That's up high. Two and one. With the score so lopsided, I think the... Uh, Unwritten rules of softball might come into play. And it's a walk here and a stolen base by Tara Kester. She steals third as the catcher was slow to get the ball back to the pitcher. And I'll bring up Sienna Harrigan, the right fielder. Runners on the corners, one out. That pitch is down low, one and oh. I think we have a, a fan all the way over in Paris watching this ball game yeah, This live. is up the left side, bobbled by the shortstop. One run is in. Emily Whalen heading to third, and she's thrown out. Oh, I don't know about that one. I think it might have been in time there. Well, all right. Tara You'll Kester slow it down. comes around to score. Emily Whalen caught trying to advance. Sienna Harrigan advanced to second on the throw in, but she is credited with the RBI single. Katie Holly now due up. It's 12-0 lead for the Hillers. You didn't know we were international, did you? We have a viewer in Paris. Brett McIntyre, Alyssa McIntyre's brother. Terrific. Grandma Ruthie, Uncle Jimmy, Bubby, everybody is watching the game today. Hello to all of our viewers on YouTube as we are streaming this game live through our YouTube channel. And, of course, you can catch the replay on HKM Ed. And it's going to be a new pitcher for Dover Sherborne coming in for Bahadur. And the new pitcher for Dover Sherborne is going to be Sierra Crowley. She'll move over from third base and swap places with Bahadur. That's a good move. It's a dozen to nothing right now, Tom. Well, it's been another impressive offensive performance by the Hillers. 37 runs in their first two games. So I think it's safe to say that this Hillers team features an explosive <laughs> offense. Katie Holly is due up next. She had a two RBI single in the third as part of the six run inning. You enjoy the one hour and minute, one hour and 15 minute games when it's really hot out. Of course, who doesn't? I'm putting in for overtime today. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> if anybody's back at the station, open up the petty cash drawer. Katie Hawley steps in. That pitch is inside, 1-0. Oh. 
Sienna Harrigan over at second base, two outs in the inning. Another couple runs have scored this inning for the Hillers. And now Harrigan going to advance over to third on the pass ball. Geez, I'm not sure whether the Dover Sherburne coach is enjoying them taking those extra bases. But that right fielder is awful shallow. Katie turns on this, she may have three bases. That is down low, and that'll make the count three and oh. So there's a little courtesy extended to Dover Sherber and the runner not taken off for the plate. Katie Holly won for two today with a walk and two RBIs plus a run scored, and now she'll draw the walk. I'll bring up Julian Cedia, the catcher. Uh oh. Three, Make sure four, the cameraman has today. got uh, can follow this ball. Six runs batted in for Julian Cedia. She had a three-run home run in the third inning. And now on that low pitch, everybody's going to take off, and another Hiller's run comes around to score. Katie Holly took off for a second, and on the throw up by the catcher, Emma Stiller, Sienna Harrigan comes around to score the 13th run for the Hillers. I don't think the Dover Sherman coach is too happy with that. He's shaking his head. Pitch down low. Towards the Hopkins coach in third base box. Well, it's part of the game. Well, I didn't like it when it happened last year with Norton. Two and O. Oh. Excuse me, three and O. Oh. Julian Cedia trying to maintain her perfect day at the plate. And she will, I shall draw the walk. That might have been an intentional pass there. Don't pitch to her. Two on, two outs for the Hillers, and now Bella Ansi steps in. Actually, it looks like a uh, pinch hitter for her. Pinch hitter here. It's uh, Carly Stevens. It's our first look at Carly. Down low. One and one. Sierra Crowley, the second pitcher of the game for Dover Sherborne. Upstairs. You'll notice, you'll notice they didn't pinch run for Jillian Cedia this time. The 2 1. Down low. 3 and 1 count on Stevens. And this is driven into left field. That'll get down for a hit. Katie Holly being waved around. She'll score easily, and CD is safe at third. It's an RBI double for Carly Stevens. And that's her first at bat today. Well, we should probably remind the folks at home that if they want to see some baseball, Barnstable will come up Saturday at 1 p.m. at the turf field. Lisa McIntyre takes strike one. She's having a tough time today. She needs a hit like oxygen. Upstairs. Well, Carly Stevens had one at bat yesterday and got a base hit and had one at bat today and got a base hit. She's batting 1,000 to start off the season. Can you hit? More than a thousand? You can't. Okay, just checking. Two and one. I'm learning as I go, Tom. This is up the middle, picked up by the shortstop. Throw to first is off the mark. Everybody's safe. Cedia comes around to score, and now another Hiller's run is going to come around to score. Carlos well, Stevens comes around, and it's sixteen to nothing, Hillers. Sorry, you can't give her a hit as much as I. Like her as a player, that's an E6. It certainly is. So it's been another six-run inning for the Hillers. Uh, your scorebook's a little messy, Tom. It certainly is. <laughs> that pitch is down low to Charlotte Can. I told you to bring a pencil. Line up and the pitch. 
And this is fouled away and out of the reach of everybody. One and one. Alyssa McIntyre over at second base. A 16 to nothing lead for the Hillers. 41 runs in two games. It's unbelievable. It's a season worth of runs for some teams there. That's right. I think the umpire might call anything close a strike. He wants to go home. One and two. Down low, two and two. Most over Sherborne team, very young team. Well, we'll just say they're a little inexperienced. And this is a slow roller picked up by the pitcher, throw to first, and they get the out. Thankfully. To wrap up the bottom of the fourth. 16 to nothing, Hillers, as we head to the top of the fifth on H Cam. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Welcome back to Hopkinton High School. We are ready for the top of the fifth inning. Hiller is leading Dover Sherborne 16 to nothing. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. That pitch just low. Do we have a new hitter? We do. The new hitter for Dover Sherborne is Sabrina Ryan. Sure. They're going to empty their bench, too. She's hitting for the first baseman, Maria Serafian. You know, a game like this, you get everybody in there. Sure, why not? Upstairs. Rumor has it you're running the marathon on Monday, Tom. Well, then that rumor would be wrong. There's a strike. Three and one. That was a go-hit-it pitch, if you can. Can deals down low, and that's a walk. That's your first pass today, isn't it? Free pass? It is. Make things interesting. I'll bring up Ashley Versaw, the center fielder. Swung at that pitch. That was in the dirt or in the turf. If you had a 9-iron, you might have got that. But playing with bats today. One and one now. It's tough to say focus as a pitcher with a 16-run cushion. It's Fouled a foul away. ball. Going to catch the uh, on-deck hitter. One and two count now on Versaw. Well, another impressive outing for this Hillers softball squad. 41 runs in the first two games of the season. What a start. Boom. Another Hillers sports news. The boys lacrosse team off to a good start. They are two and oh to start off the season. The girls two and one. And why don't you uh, tell the listeners about the beatdown that the Austin Panthers took at the hands of the Hopkins and Hillers yesterday. Right, Hillers baseball with a 9-1 to one win over Halston as well. That pitch inside. And that game is available on the HCAM YouTube page. That's what I'll be doing tonight. I'll be watching that game. Julia C.D. trying to frame that pitch for the umpire. And that is a walk. Second walk given up by Can. Two on for Dover Sherborne, and we're going to have a pinch hitter here. Stepping in the batter's box is Nora Rafferty. Any warm up activity? No, not yet. Juliana CD is another pitcher they could throw. Should Charlotte Con tire? 
She's getting some words of encouragement from Julian Cedia. Set to deliver. There's a strike. O and one. Carly Stevens took Bella Anzi's place at first base. After she hit for her. Down low, one and two. The one, two. In there, four strike, three, one away. Ah, sit down. I'll bring up Grace Work out of the shortstop. Swing and a miss. That ball was way out of the strike zone. Ball's high, look really, really good. Check swing couldn't hold there. Over softball, I believe, is next at Ashland tomorrow. That should be a great game. Ashland has a very good team this season. One, How good is good? One and two count on Rorca. He started off two and oh. And this is driven up the left side, just past the reach of the shortstop, McIntyre. Throw to third. Did they get the lead runner? They did. Yes, they did. What a great throw by Megan Sullivan to get Ryan trying to head to third, and there's two outs. That was heads-up baseball right there. Softball, excuse me. So Rorca aboard with the single, but Sabrina Ryan thrown out trying to go to third. And now Raya Bahadur steps in. Inside, one and oh. Hillers went out away from improving to two and oh, up 16 to nothing here in the fifth. Swing and a miss. What did Dandy Don Meredith say, sing when uh, the game was out of hand? Outside, two and one. Turn out the lights, the party's over. This is hit in the air over to left field. That's going to get down for a hit. Here comes a run around to score for Dover Sherborne. Everybody's safe. It's 16 to 1. And here goes the shutout. RBI double for Bahadur. That was a blast. Certainly was. Good piece of hitting there by the starting pitcher. And now Sierra Crowley, who took over in relief, steps in. She moved over from third base to the pitcher's circle. Two outs in the inning for Dover Sherborne, but they have broken the shutout. So a small defeat there for the Blue Raiders. This is up the middle, gloved by the shortstop. Throw to first, not a problem. And that will wrap up the bottom of the fifth, and we'll keep things right here. They're cheering all the way from Paris. I can hear it now. Alyssa McIntyre made a nice play over at shortstop. A turf cutter. She certainly They're going to end it now. They're going to come out and shake hands and start the bus up. That will indeed do it. The mercy rule comes into effect here as we wrap up the top half of the fifth, and the Hopkinton Hillers have defeated Dover Sherborne by a final score of 16 to 1. The Hillers out hit Dover Sherborne 12 to 4. The Blue Raiders commit four errors. The final score for the final time, the Hillers defeat Dover Sherborne 16 to one. For John Ritz on camera, my broadcast partner, Larry Sacklad, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon.